Challenge Rift 230. We we're playing the Witch Doctor today uh, on the PTR, and this is yet another Witch Doctor setup. As always, you can click the Soul Mirror, it'll reveal everything you need to know. Carnival to me always means poison, dart build, and fetish. The, the Zuni Masters set is being used here with Org Hild, so extra elite damage, which is nice. Dagger of Darts, super important for this build. Uh, Echoing Fury, not so much. We would have liked to see Sacred Harvester for some additional Soul Harvest stacks. Mask of Jaram, though, is super important, and uh, Ring of Royal Grandeur makes this thing uh, usable in conjunction with also a full six-piece Zuni Masters set bonus, and also Org Hild's there two pieces, which we get the three set item bonus for, which is nice. Now, what you want to do as soon as you enter the challenge rift, or should we go through skills first? We're using poison dart, piranhas, big bad voodoo daddy is what I call him. It's, it should be daddy. It should be daddy on the end there. Spirit walk with jaunt, soul harvest languish, fetish army, passives, grave injustice, pierce the veil, fetish psycho fans, and spirit vessel. So as soon as you enter the challenge rift via the obelisk, you want to try and get your stacks up. But first and foremost, I would slam down big bad voodoo daddy. Cast your fetish and then start uh, using your poison darts there. You'll kill the first pack you come across. Bad example there for some reason. It didn't pop up. It kept hitting the staircases. I don't know why. But then when you do come across enemies, use your spirit walk and then get your soul harvest stacks up. So when you're in spirit walk, it also keeps you alive and you can safely get your stacks up to five. Also use your piranhas to group up enemies. As you can see, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy is on a, a big cooldown. And whenever Fetish is up, especially if you come across an elite, summon them again for max damage. And they obviously use poison darts when we do. So the more Fetish you have alive, the more damage you do, the more poison darts that are being shot. And in turn, the more damage you do. Don't forget, always group up enemies with um, piranhas there. And keep an eye on your soul harvest as soon as you run out. Dash or sorry, spirit walk into some enemies and get those stacks back up. Because we're not using Sacred Harvester Dagger here, the maximum you can get is five stacks. But keep that up, that'll keep your uh, damage reduction as high as possible at five stacks. Boom, like that. You may need to reapply it a few times, but before that green bar depletes, make sure that you try and reapply whenever possible. But for the most part, we'll be killing things very, very easily, so it may not be too much of an issue. But anyway, one thing to talk about it, let's go on in and do this one together, and then it's your turn. Let me know what time you all got, and I'll see what I can do here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm pretty sure there was an elite right up here at the start. Maybe not. Yeah, there it is. As you can see, damage, not a problem. Get those orbs. Keep on going, baby. And whenever fetish is, is up, make sure that you cast them. Like so. And if you do see explosions and stuff, it can kill you, but also if you spirit walk through them, then you'll definitely stay alive as well. So keep that in mind, you can spirit walk through them. And right now, Big Bad Voodoo is back up and usable. I'm going to wait till I come across an elite pack, and then I'll use it. But because shit dies pretty easily, there we go. There's an elite. Ah, oh, it has to be a waller. Get those orbs, keep on going. But super easy this week, it's not a problem. Especially if you use it right. Don't forget to summon those uh, fetish whenever you have a chance. And try and reapply the soul harvest stacks whenever possible. Obviously wait until you come across enemies and then re-summon your fetish. That way you get the most use out of them. Oops. And now we're moving on to the next level. Go, 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 go. There's an elite up there, we'll kill him safely. I'm 
pretty sure there's an elite just here. Yep, there we go. We'll kill them and then make our way up there towards that shield pylon. For those of you that are tuned in live to the stream, you would have seen me get that shield pylon and then I, made, I, I turned back and went the other way. But this time we're going to go this way. Let's see if we can make the most out of the turn. Oh, I've got to watch out for those fireballs. These sucker buses. The sucker bus are really uh, sucky. They suck and not in a good way. Keep on going. But um, you can definitely spirit walk through those fireballs too. Try and take them down as soon as possible. Is, the be is your best bet. Best way to deal with them. Kill them. I'm pretty sure we've got to go this way. I don't think there was any other elites down there. So we'll just go through. So big bad voodoo is up as well. We can definitely use that again soon. And then, on this floor, I'm not too sure, we're just winging it now. I didn't actually get uh, very far into this floor on my practice run. So not too sure if there's any elites lurking around. We're going to have a quick look in here. Nothing there. Summon those fetish. There's an elite in there. Get those juicy orbs, and any second now we'll get the Rift Guardian out. And the countdown timer has begun, so it's, I suppose, slightly challenging this week, but not really. Um, same sort of thing, get your fetish out, shoot your poison darts, use piranhas if it's up, big bad voodoo daddy if that's up, and if you're taking a bit of damage, spirit walk and get your soul harvest stacks back up, even on the Rift Guardian. 417! Easy peasy, what time did you all get?